ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ವೀಕ್ಷಕರೇ ಮತ್ತೊಮ್ಮೆ ಮನೋಮಯ ಟಿವಿ ಪ್ರಸ್ತುತ ಪಡಿಸುವ ಅನ್ಕಾಮನ್ ಶೋಗೆ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ನೀವ್ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ಕೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸಬ್ ಕಾನ್ಶಿಯಸ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಟ್ರೈನಿಂಗ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫರ್ಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕಂಪ್ನಿ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಕೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಶಿಯಸ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಸಿ ವೆನ್ ಐ ಸೇ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಶಿಯಸ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ವಿ ಟೇಕ್ ಕೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ವೈ ಆನ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬೀನ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಗಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಅನ್ ಎಂಟರ್ಪ್ರಿನರ್ i was a solo preneur to begin with and uh, you know solo preneurs right i don't have to tell much so it is like uh, you do if there is no one at uh, office you need to clean if the bike doesn't turn up it's like you have to clean if uh, the marketing person is not there you are taking care of that also sales call bhi aap hi utha rahe ho delivery bhi aap hi de rahe ho follow up bhi aap hi kar rahe ho and then business plan bhi aap hi kar rahe ho so this doesn't work okay mm-hmm. i struggled a lot and i don't want you to struggle i don't want my participants to struggle so in conscious level alignment what my team does is it's very simple we take care of the seven core business systems so it is into management what are your uh, mission vision values of your uh, organization what are you planning what are the kpis kras everything is uh, like defined to the detail there and the system and structure is created then when it comes to marketing system also like what how it needs to grow like from a stranger we need to pick up the right uh, target audience you can't sell it to everybody right you need to sell it to specific segment so in sales system also we have where the leads are converted and given to you we have a telecaller and a dedicated uh, what do you call uh, digital marketer assigned to your company then when it comes to uh, hr and uh, other systems we see to it that you are having teams who are not just like tracked on performance but how to pick up the performance deliver the performance and grow such that they are happy and they stick with you for long so you don't have to keep training the people again and again you know what i mean so that also is taken care then it comes to financial systems where the books are reconciled and we see how your uh, like growth has to be projected how it has to be tracked how much were the expenses everything is tracked okay and when it comes to say operations so from a stranger to a happy customer to a referring customer the customer journey is mapped till that level mm. okay and when it comes to the administration part of it we also take care of all the legalities what uh, clauses should be uh, there what disclaimers have to be put so you can just focus on what you are good at mm-hmm. what you want to deliver so the major part of this business when it is structured correctly right and when the major part of business is structured and is automated you don't have to think when is my next business going to come from my team is competent enough they mm-hmm. do their best so they will see to it that you are getting quality leads mm-hmm. now if you are skillful that is the reason i said you have to be a good archer i can uh, make you best archer if you don't know archery we can't help you mm-hmm. so it's like that you know your business what exactly you want we will see to it that you grow 10x you don't know exactly what you want or you don't know how to deliver quality results we can't help you there so we can help you with the systems structures at the conscious level it's like for example i'm a coach okay i'm a coach and a trainer so if i am not good at delivering results no one can help me so i have to develop the skills with the learnings and everything or meditate or do healing so i have to improvise myself the skills needed to coach and train so mm-hmm. that skills is my responsibility rest all can be supported rest mindset training can be given rest the sub business setup can be done and it will be taken care such that i get clients on a daily weekly or monthly basis the way i want so i give you an example with respect to me so that you understand that everything from scratch is taken care you just have to focus on what you are good at or what you want to do the business part is taken care into automation and the mindset part is taken care with me whatever hurdles come in uh, ongoingly that i'll take care because see what happens is uh, there was a client she came to me saying shital i want opportunities now this is mindset only mm-hmm. she didn't ask me a skill level biz- or business related i want to uh, like grow i want opportunities 
in those days when the training was offline, second day itself she got an opportunity on phone to address six people. She used to do one on one. She got directly six people access. In one week she got another twenty people access. Now you tell me one thing: if I opened up her mind for twenty or six people or twenty people at a stretch, mm -hmm. how much she would have converted? At least two, if the least. Okay, the least, least you are saying, right? Possibilities. To my surprise, she didn't close anything. Okay. And when I checked what was that, she was lacking the skill of selling. Okay. So that is what I mean to say. Mm. So if you are not good at sales, how much ever I open up your mind and give you list of like people are coming to you. Mm. If you are not able to sell, it is not my problem. Yeah. I have done my job correctly. Mm -hmm. So like that, when understanding the loopholes, we have designed this system mm -hmm. where you don't have to. And when the business system is designed, no, we will come to know whether you can deliver that or not. Mm -hmm. My team is intelligent enough; they are expert of uh, like six, seven experts work together there. Mm -hmm. So they create the system exactly well in ninety days. Everything documented. Mm -hmm. So you can. What we prefer is you better get it implemented with us because when you continue for the nine months, no, you will see. We know that nerve of your business, mm -hmm. so we'll make it better. Okay, and we use the mind also into that. We I will also come to know what is there. Then creatively also, intuitively, I can give you ideas. Mm -hmm. So that there it works. So conscious level is totally the business setup work only that we do, mm -hmm. and it is automation online. You want it offline? We will get the setup done offline, and you want manpower trained one? We can do that also. Okay, so as you spoke a lot about uh, getting people into the business and coaching. There is a lot of coaching centers out there today who are training people to get into the business. Hmm. Now, how different are you from others? <laughs> uh, what I would say is, uh, everyone is different in their own way. But uh, I would rather say what makes me different is, uh, I just don't take the credit of my uh, participants or client success. I do take responsibility of their failures too. Mm -hmm. In my eleven years journey, I have failed in nine cases. I didn't give up on those nine cases. I did whatever it takes to see to it. Yes, it took some extra time than the time committed, but even they got results. Mm -hmm. So I stand by my clients. It's it's like uh, my clients are my extended family. Uh, I love my clients, so they love me as well. And what happens is. When you love a person, when you care for a person, if the person fails, you can't let go of that. Okay, so these people have actually helped me grow. Mm -hmm. They have helped me to understand the true meaning of doing whatever it takes. So I see to it that I do whatever it takes. I just not demand from the other person to do whatever it takes. I also do whatever it takes. to see to it that they get the results that they come to me for. as we know like learning is a two way process where it's win win for both so what do you want to say about that what have you learned from your coaching like from your students or maybe people who coach mm, i have learned a lot like if you have if i have to tell you uh, this interview will not be enough like i've learned a lot i'm uh, i am heartily grateful to all my clients who took services from me because i have grown as a human being because of that and i'm really thankful to you for that and what i would say is uh, there was a time when i used to take uh, two hours two sessions mm -hmm. to help someone come out of depression mm -hmm. and my learnings i grew where i have mixed and matched the techniques which came in meditation which came in while interacting with people like they are finding difficulty in applying this technique then i changed the technique and there was a time when two hours i used to take to fix depression and there was a time if people know me okay now is the time that if people have studied about me my work they have seen the testimonies they understand that i'm capable to help mm -hmm. even in group mind it i'm not joking even in group 20 minutes are enough to shift the perception and remove the person from depression so that's what i told even manoj choudhury ji what i did with him also was an experiment mm -hmm. 
Mm. It is not the original technique that has been taught. So I have modified the technique because he said, Sheetal, I can't do this. Because he said he can't do it, I instantly shifted the technique. And that also brought him 80% growth in 20 days. So my clients have, their trust has helped me grow and I'm grateful to that. And I have been learning like hell. It's like I changed my domains. Like initially I used to help uh, people like randomly. Anyone comes, I'll help. Then I started helping uh, educators. I got different learning. Then I help people with physical illnesses. Like this pain, that pain. I learned something else. It's like uh, the learning journey is on. Now, when I started working with entrepreneurs, the thing is different. Then I started working with real estate people, manufacturers. So what I mean to say is, with everything that they share, right, my creativity increases. Mm -hmm. Like I may not know what your job is or what exactly you need to do. But if I spend some moments with you, my creativity has gone so vivid that I can precisely tell you what you need to do. Mm -hmm. So that learning came from uh, working with different uh, people in different segments. Mm -hmm. And I enjoy my work. I love my work. Uh, that's so, what I do. Okay. So what is that one mantra that you follow while you coach people? Mantra is simple. It's a win-win because if people come to me uh, trusting that I can help them, I see to it that I keep up their trust and I keep up their trust. So it's a win-win. You want something, you are coming to me with the faith that I'll fix it. That itself gives me power to do whatever it takes to help you win, get the results. Mm. So I follow that you follow the system. The system has been tweaked over 10 years now. Mine did. When I'm saying tweaked over 10 years, I believe you give me five days with no distraction, no laptop, no mobile, nothing. Give me five days and I'll show you a successful entrepreneur on the sixth day. Mm -hmm. I'm that confident about it. So that is it. And we did speak a lot about you and your company. So your company's name being very uh, different, Charisma. So what exactly does it mean and why that word? Why okay. that word for your company? Okay, you, you want an answer for that. It was very simple. Uh, whatever I, I do believe in one thing that uh, anything and everything is created in your mind and uh, can be fixed with your mind. So when I say mind, 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 why I'm speaking mind? So mind has a magnetic ability to attract. And it's not like when it has magnetic ability to attract, that magnetic ability is, is charisma. Okay. Okay. So it is charisma and then mind. Okay. And we, before starting the company itself, we were very clear that we want to grow globally. And when we want to grow globally, that was what came with worldwide. So it is Charisma Mind Worldwide. Okay. That's a nice one. So uh, with all these journey, like I don't think there would be always a smooth road. So there might be some uh, loopholes and some, you know, potholes in the journey. Mm. So what was the struggle that you faced when you started initially? And who actually stood with you during those times? Uh, I would rather uh, people are, people want struggle, but to be very honest, uh, I don't see it as struggle. It was part of journey of growing where I didn't knew few things and then I had to learn, I had to grow. So it is part and parcel of growing. I would not call it struggling. But if you say, what did you struggle with? Yes, I can say I was an exceptional coach back then in the year 2011 also. And you can say I struggled with my business systems. <laughs> okay, so now that's the reason you're coaching Yeah, people. because what happens, I told you earlier also that I used to, I started coaching in my house. So mm -hmm. everything from the person entering, uh, entering for consultation, getting out, mm -hmm. everything has to be monitored and has to be professional. Mm -hmm. And then I shifted to uh, co-working spaces. Then I had two offices, which are closed before pandemic. It's like you have to do everything. It's like strategy bhi aap hi banao. 
इम्प्लीमेंटेशन भी आप ही करो हायर भी आप ही करो इफ द पर्सन डजेंट टर्न अप अगेन डिलीवरी ऑल्सो यू ओनली हैव टू डू सो ऑल दिस थिंग्स इट वॉज लाइक टू मच लाइक इफ आई एम नॉट देर द वर्क स्टॉप्स लाइक आई वॉज द बॉटल नेक ऑफ माई बिजनेस एंड दैट इज वन आई स्टार्टेड फाइंडिंग वॉट शुड आई डू टू गेट रिड ऑफ इट इफ आई हैव टू ग्रो एंड आई हैड अ मेंटर इन बिजनेस लॉन्ग बैक हु इज टू ऑलवेज से शीतल बींग गुड इनफ इज नॉट गुड इनफ and i was like what do you mean he said if you want to grow in business you can't be a one on one coach you have to be one to many coach and if you want you put that one on one as a premium and do one to many and you have to be exceptional in one to many he told me this in 2015 okay i am not a money minded coach who says okay fine strategy de di chalo dalo and start minting money i don't do that Uh, stuff i took 3 years to research 3 years to test it whether yes my this technique of depression if i'm working on a group of people will it work i have tested it enough i have tested with uh, larger groups i have tested with different age groups and uh, it works mm-hmm. so one to many ka jo hota hai this is how i have grown like I'm I'm extremely sorry I forgot your question. <laughs> so it's basically like um, what was your struggle of okay. so uh, during all these things when I was struggling all alone my husband has stood by me and uh, my son being younger he understands like yes mummy has to go so he does whatever needs to be done and like even today when I came for this interview I had told him I'm getting late he brought Uh, whatever a uh, shake he had to get it for me and he served me and he went because i'm a uh, cook didn't turn up today and he is a great help so is my husband so my parents like i, I if i <laughs> keep on taking the names the list is on and on but the most important people are my husband my son and my mom and without them i wouldn't have been here so and also my mother in law <laughs> because without her and the things that uh, pushed me into uh, thinking something different to solve the issues that's what uh, like if i can handle that i can handle this okay. <laughs> so <laughs> it's like that so one uh, small statement of love from your end to your lovely family any one thing that you want to say that you couldn't say to it no i have told them a couple of times several times but uh, still if i have to say I love you and I I just uh, you people are my strength and thank you for being there for me. And I would do whatever it takes to see to it that you get whatever you want in your life as well. So sweet and um coming back to your business talks like if an entrepreneur any entrepreneur for the matter wants to reach out to you how can they reach out to you? Uh you can get me connected on my linkedin handle which they might put in in the description and uh, my company's website is uh, www.charismamind.com and uh, if still you don't remember any of this <laughs> you can uh, google me with my name sheetal vijay and i'll be on the top you can at least remember my name for that ma'am uh, before we end this uh, talk show for the day one motivational quote for upcoming entrepreneurs from your end mm, what i would say rather is uh, life is not just about chasing goals it's not a rat race it's about aligning your values into your life and it is not just about building a successful business but also having a blast while you have it while you build it so that it i would say have a happy healthy and wealthy life not just wealthy life so thank you so much for uh, engaging uh, the uncommon show for such a long time with lot of information and lot of opportunity for the new entrepreneurs uh, do visit our show again thank you so much ma'am thank you so much for inviting nodidralla vikshakare idagittu ivattina uncommon show innu hechu show galanna tartivi nodtari manomaya tv signing off for the day nanu sampritha shreyas 